Hello everyone and welcome back guys to the finale of Season 5 of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. Yesterday we're here finally back uh, with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Like I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, a bit of an apology for the lack of content in recent weeks. But we are finally back today to finish off Season 5 of this career mode. This of course now does mean as well uh, that the driver vote for Season 6 has now shut. And I'm happy to confirm at the start of this video, Charles Leclerc with 64% of the vote, will be joining us for the final shortened season of my team here on F1 2020. I'm really looking forward to be jumping in. You know, at the moment, there's a big battle going on between ourselves and Alpha Tari, as well as Mercedes for supremacy in the world of Formula 1. But obviously, with some rule changes coming in for next year, we are going to lose a bit of performance as well then. But of course, one more race of Season 5. What a season it's been, of course. Obviously, later on today, uh, we will go back through with our season review from Season 5. And then I'm aiming aiming for the start of Season 6. We'll have the hopefully the driver transfers uh, kicking off over the course of the weekend as well. But 130 points now are the advantage at the top of the World Championship. You know, it has been a dominant display from us throughout the course of the year. There are another double uh, completed for the team as well. And just with one season to go then, what can we achieve? Can we get World Title 5 next time out then? But of course, we got one more race of Season 5 to go. Obviously here from the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Let's just dive in then, once again of course, starting from the back of the grid, let's see if we can finish the season with a bang. Welcome to the Yas Marina circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula One season. It's been a breathtaking year and we end it at a track that's been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both Turn 8 and Turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Also here of course is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Mr Monaco. What a season they've had. A well-deserved championship victory and the pressure now surely off with the title already in the bag. It really is well-deserved. I wouldn't say it's been a faultless title challenge, but certainly one that has been consistent and well managed. Here's hoping they let off a bit of steam today and give us an exciting race. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. George Russell will begin today's event from pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Gasly, Alexander Albon, and Kvyat, Leclerc, Norris, Sainz, and Lance Stroll, Perez, Ocon, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Raikkonen, Latifi, King, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Kevin Magnussen, De Vries, Mr. Monaco, Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty, and Nobuharu Matsushita. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? OK, we've already won the championship, so relax and enjoy this race. Here we are then, ready on the grid for the final time in Season 5 of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. And this time round, we don't even find ourselves on the back row for the start of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The nature of penalties around this circuit does mean, yeah, we've got a couple of cars behind us that are going to be starting right at the rear of your field then. But I'll be honest, not feeling too confident for this one today. Abu Dhabi's never been a track that I've gelled with particularly well on F1 2020. And if practice is anything to go by as well, struggling just a bit. Made a couple of setup tweaks that hopefully will help us out for the race, but we'll wait and see as to what happens here today then. But 28 laps to finish off the year from the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Let's just see what we can do here in Yas Marina. It's five red lights, and it's lights out, and away we go. Not a long hold at all for the final race of the year there. Clearly other people want to get out of the facilities and get home for the winter break. Oh, a big lock-up down in towards Turn 1 as we almost went to the back of Jordan King. As Hamilton, yeah, clean right around the outside through Turn 1. We'll repeat the favour, though, in towards Turn 2 and Turn 3. But again, just not able to get on the throttle on the exit here. I don't know why the car just feels so unstable as we try to match the throttle in a couple of places. There even more contact with the back of Nick to freeze, but we will be able to get around the outside of him. Up the inside of Giovinazzi and maybe the Alfa Romeo as well. Should be able to get that pulled off. We've still got the Alfa Romeo on our outside though as we go side by side with our former teammate Jordan King. Look at the traction 
of that Alpha out of the corner there, because he was on the medium tyres as well, but surely top end speed, we've got a bit more than that Alfa Romeo on our outside. Just going to try and park it on the apex, but Jordan King not giving up on this just yet. Oh, tries to slam the door on the exit. Going to be a little bit of contact between the pair of us there. Hopefully, again, we can get a big old run down in towards Sector 3 there, but Jordan King really, really feisty at the start of this Grand Prix. We do go clean around the outside, though, in towards the next braking zone. And we are up into P17 then as we come towards the end of that one. Still behind Magnussen and Latifi at the moment. There is Jordan King. He's clearly trying to fight for his seat in Formula 1 like he's done so many times in the past. Not too sure if we're going to see many driver transfers between, of course, now and Season 6. I'm sure there'll be a few movers up and down the field nonetheless, though. But anyway, down in towards the final couple of corners of lap 1. Still all over the back of Kevin Magnussen. As it is George Russell who leads the way at the end of lap one. I think it's Pierre Gasly in P2. So the two drivers battling for a runner-up spot at the end of the season. Battling for the lead here in Abu Dhabi. Right, come on, K-Mag. Let's see what you've got then, buddy. Down the straight. I must admit, yeah, a lot of cars looking rather quick down the straights here. We're running quite a lot of aero. Just in the hopes that obviously we can stick in the slips room with a lot of people there. As Magnussen forces us to the inside wall. Didn't know that one was there, I'll be honest. We should be able to go clean up the inside, almost into the back of Latifi there. It does cost us a bit of a run. So we'll try and hook it up around the outside of K-Mag. Gives us some room, unlike Jordan King a lap ago. And we do pull off the move up into 16th place then on lap two of this race. Latifi a little way up the road, however. Right, now on to lap three. Of course, we've now got some DRS in this Grand Prix. Can we try and get a run on Nicholas Latifi? As we head out onto the back straight once more here, I think, yeah, I mean, a lot of the moves today are going to be done down this back straightaway. It's pretty much the only place you can make moves work around this circuit. But so far, I mean, fair play to Latifi. He's keeping up with the back of the Red Bull of Esteban Ocon. However, we go clean around the outside there. He tries to keep the nose there, but we just show him the inside kerb. But I'm at a 15th. Ocon now just up the road. Can we get a good run on the uh, Red Bull, man? Of course, he is starting on the medium tyres here. Not too sure why. Really want to, Red Bull want to try and go along in the Grand Prix, aiming for a safety car at some point, I'd imagine. But hopefully we can get past Esteban soon. Here we go then. Up to the back of the Aston Martin logoed Red Bull. Oh, way too deep into the hairpin, but hopefully it'll give us a good run on the exit. A little bit of wheel spin, but Esteban is going to get some DRS off the guys in front of him, but I don't think that Red Bull's particularly strong down the straight. You can see his teammate up in P5 at the moment, trying to do a bit of a defensive masterclass. Have a look at the inside. Oh, much, much later on the brakes there as Raikkonen does the same to Guan Yu Zhou just in front of us here as we try to put the power down at the final corner. All right. Oh, uh, wrong button there. That was down a gear rather than well, on the brakes rather than onto the DRS. Did not have that button, I'll be honest, mapped on Xbox. Might have to use that in the future. Racing points still have a very, very good car down the straights. That's been a staple of all five seasons of the My Team career mode there, but Renault was certainly no slouches as well at the top end speed as Guan Yu Zhou tries to close in on Raikkonen as we try to close in on Guan Yu Zhou. Can we get a good run out of the second DRS zone, though? I'm going to be a little bit closer to the racing point this time round. We're going to have to use a load of our overtake mode. We might have to go for a bit of a cheeky send up the inside. Try not to run into the back of Raikkonen. That was rather aggressive. But no contact with either of them. And we are up into P13. Still making up at least one overtake a lap early on in this race. I'm sure that won't last forever. But Raikkonen now. Eight tenths up the road. Hopefully we can get him next time round. And just like that. Now all over the back of Kimi Raikkonen. As we head on to lap six. This time round he's going to have no DRS. On his teammate Sergio Perez just in front of him. So surely this one should be a bit of an easier move. As again not making... Too many aggressive overtakes where we don't need to, but just going for these cheeky little slipstream passes down the straights. People say DRS has killed Formula 1, but I'd rather see this than Alonso get stuck behind Petrov for another 50 laps. That being said, I thought that was always quite funny. Anyway, we're under 12. Perro's up next. Perro's next man on the old hit list. Again, he's on a set of mediums, so doing a very good job is Sergio Perez early on. To be keeping up with this group of cars just in front of him. We get a nice run, though. Out of the hairpin there. Finally starting to feel like I'm getting to grips with the car in this Grand Prix. But again, with the DRS for Perez in front of us. We're going to need a big old run and then maybe a bit of a lunge as well. Sorry, Stroll. Didn't intend to do that. Both get away with it, though. I don't think either of us have picked up any damage from it either. Uh, no, somehow. Oh, I'm making all the wrong button presses. But Perez gets back past us in that moment as well. Which I, I don't care who's got fastest lap, Jeff. It's all going wrong. Let's try and go for it again next time round. Oh, Perez, what are you doing? Get on with it. 
I, I don't know what's happening at the moment. It's all getting a bit crazy as we reach the quarter distance of this race. Oh, we've got a load of guys into the pits at the end of lap seven there as well. I was going to say, surely people are going to be starting to pit soon enough, so we're now up into the points. In this Grand Prix, we've still got Raikkonen and Guan Yuzhou just behind us, but I think Gasly has come into the pit lane there, so he's now going to be stuck in a bit of traffic for the next couple of laps. Not too sure if he's gone on to another set of softs or maybe the mediums. So we try to get close to Perez at the hairpin. He might be able to get a good run on that straw now without his DRS either, as we don't get a particularly good run out of the corner there. Is Perez going to be able to look for something on Sir Lancelot here? Lance is going to go defensive. We're going to wait and see what happens down in towards the next breaking zone. And to be honest, we're just going to try and capitalise on the pair of them if we can. Through the next corner, try and get on the power on the exit. Look at that, three wide as we head out onto the second back straightaway here. This is going to be a drag race. Mercedes versus Renault versus Honda Power here. Who's going to come out on top? It looks like the Renault down the middle, but we go much, much later on the brakes. Down around the outside, we go in a cheeky double overtake. Very, very happy with that one. Hopefully, rewrites the wrongs of one lap ago where we almost murdered Lance Stroll. Almost sent him to the shadow round. But remember to sixth. This Grand Prix, that move's got me a little bit amped up. Got more guys into the pits as well. Oh, big kick of oversteer out the final corner. Not sure how we held on to that one. But we're now up into P3 of the Grand Prix as Russell and Verstappen are actually out on a set of mediums here. So Russell holding on to the race lead at the start on mediums is a very, very good job done by him. 21 seconds at the road there. He's basically got a pit stop over us already in this Grand Prix, but I'm probably going to pit maybe the end of this one, maybe the end of the next, but I'm going to try and take some medium stuff at lap 20, and then try to get to the end of this race on another set of softs. I want to be quick at the end, so obviously if we do get a safety car or anything like that, hopefully we can capitalise. First time in this Grand Prix with some clear air, but we have had a pretty decent in-lap. Let's wait and see if we've made up any more places. Oh, it's again, the back end gets squirrely. Not too sure how we held on to that one once more, but we have done so. And yeah, we are now up into... Well, we were up into f third place, albeit only briefly in this Grand Prix. But we'll wait and see as to what happens over the next couple of laps then. Into the pits, fresh set of mediums onto the wagon. A two and a half second stop isn't too shabby either. But we are going to rejoin, I think, just outside of the points. This pit exit could be critical in this Grand Prix as we try to put the power down. No, we're going to be a little bit in no man's land, are we? No, we're going to come out close to someone. That's Lance Stroll, who we have now got past again. Stroll going to try and look up the inside the wind towards the next corner. Fair play to Sir Lance, going for it. But we do hold on. I'm at a 14th place of the Grand Prix. We've got Kvyat just in front of us. As well as Alex Alban. As we've got yellow flags out. Who's struggling? Is it George Russell? George Russell, I think, is pulling to the wayside in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix there. And look at that. Yeah, the Mercedes has pulled off. So George Russell out of the Grand Prix. We get a safety car as well. That couldn't have come at a worse possible time for ourselves after we've just pit in this Grand Prix. But it is a blessing for Max Verstappen, who is going to get a free pit stop in this Grand Prix there. But a heartbreak for George Russell out in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix there, and that gives Gasly a perfect chance to try and claim P2 in the championship. Can't believe that safety car is coming just after we made our pit stop here. We are going to gain a few spots, and I think going to jump ourselves back up into the points in this Grand Prix, up into 10th place once more, as long as we stay out ahead of Esteban Ocon, who, yeah, we are. So back up into 10th then of the Grand Prix. Of course, it is going to bunch up the entire field, so I don't think it's done us too much damage does bring us a bit closer there, but Verstappen is certainly the big winner out of all this. Free pit stop up into the lead of the Grand Prix, and he's got the freshest rubber of the front group. Right, coming to the end of lap 12 then, almost a half race distance in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, and we are about to go green flag racing once more. Verstappen is going to lead the field. Can he finally take another race victory this year? He really doesn't have many to his name. To be honest, I genuinely can't remember the last Grand Prix Verstappen won in this World Championship. It has been that long ago in this My Team career mode here, but heading down in towards the final couple of corners, Verstappen really bunching up the field. Out of the final turn, are we going to be able to do anything? Come on, Perez. Uh, hopefully now we'll be green flag racing once more. A five second penalty! We didn't even hit him! Okay, you're in the top ten. Oh, I don't get those penalties on F1 2020. F1 2021 Codemasters, I beg. That needs to get sorted out there. Five second penalty for both Perez and myself. But, I mean, if there was contact, it was a brush. 
at the very most, but that is beyond a joke. But nothing we can do about that now. We've got to keep our head down and focus. See if we can try and get a good run around the outside of Sergio. No, he's going to slam the door shut there. He is on soft. Ooh. As we head out of to the back straightaway once more. Look at that power put down by the Renault. As we head out in towards the next braking zone here. Are we going to be able to go for a bit of a send? We'll have a bit of a look at the inside. Have a look there. Can we try and get past Perez? Try and get the run on the exit. Oh, Perez is going to give us a big old squeeze, but he does just about give us the room there. Good observation skills by the Renault man. There's a Lance Stroll coming up behind us as well. Down in towards the next back, next corner though. It's almost three wide again, but this time around once more, like we did a few laps ago. We come out on top in this little three-way scrap. We're now up to ninth place, but we've got to try and push like crazy. Right, come on then, Alban. Let's see what you've got in this race. Let's put the power down out onto the back straight. Come on, Alexander Alban. Can we try and get a good run on the Red Bull? Already been able to get past his teammate Ocon once before in this Grand Prix, and we are gaining a little bit on the Red Bull. We'll pull out the slipstream. We'll slot up the inside. A nice, clean, decisive move. And we're up another place in this Grand Prix. Next up, the Alpha Tauri of Danny Kvyat there. Had a really quiet season in comparison to his teammate. Hoping for a couple of big results. I would love to see Kvyat still on the grid next year. Part of that, I think, is due to his treatment in real life, F1. But... I, I do genuinely like him, I think. Tell you, one team that is having a good Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, and that is McLaren after another really quiet year from the McLaren team. Lando Norris up in sixth. I think Carlos Sainz up in fourth place at this stage of the day then. But the Alpha Tauri might be a bit more of a challenge to try and get around in this Grand Prix. I got very, very quick car still down the straights, and of course with the DRS as well. That's going to help him out rather a lot in this race. Can we get a good run out of the chicane? Really to get, try and get as straight, make the steering rack as straight as you can over that bump. As we head down the next straight where we are getting a little bit closer to Danny Kvyat. Is it going to be send time? Yes, it is. Clean, tidy up the inside. We just force him out. And we're up another place, seventh in this Grand Prix. We could easily get ourselves back up into fourth. But obviously, especially with the penalty, it might be difficult to try and get a podium here. Especially with three very, very quick cars still at the front of your field. All right, come on then, Lando. Let's see how quick the McLaren is down the straights. Again, another car that I haven't really seen much of all year, like I said. Always been sort of one of the back of the midfield teams this year, you know, battling with Ferrari. But it seems like they both come good here in Abu Dhabi, potentially showing the pace ready for Season 6. Up the inside from a long way back, though, on Lando Norris. Wasn't really planning on going for the move there, but he broke a bit earlier than I was expecting. Almost some contact, but another clean move. I'm up to sixth place in this Grand Prix. We're making big moves whilst we can. 13 laps to go here from Abu Dhabi. I cannot believe the season is coming to an end in just 13 laps' time. Well, Leclerc diving into the pit lane here. Not too sure what that's all about in this Grand Prix. He was on a set of softs, so not too sure if he didn't pit under the safety car. Or he's just on a bit of a weird and wonderful strat in this Grand Prix. But it's going to put us up to P5 of the race. And hopefully soon we'll be able to look into P4 past Sainz. Right, come on then, Carlos. No DRS for the Spaniard. Hopefully this should be a pretty textbook move then down the back straight, making big old gains. Up the inside we go. Again, not quite as aggressive as on Lando, but we do slot the car in front there. I'm really just trying to slide the car through the corner at the moment to make sure we do get cleanly in front. And look at that, we've pretty much already got him outside the DRS window. As we head out onto the next straightaway, Bottas, three seconds up the road, battling with Pierre Gasly, and that might be critical for George Russell come the end of the year. Bottas needs to try and help his teammate finish runner-up. Max is into the pits at the end of lap 17, so not too sure. I, no, he was on a set of softs as well, so no wonder he was able to romp away from the rest of the field. They're Gasly in as well, so we're now up into P2 of this Grand Prix there. Bottas still about three seconds up the road. But Bottas surely going to be able to go a couple of laps longer here, unless they're doing a double medium stint to the end. Would seem a bit weird, but I guess for the... Uh, no, Verstappen's already done medium soft. I'm not too sure. We'll wait and see as to how things pan out in this Grand Prix, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Bottas into the pit lane as well, then. So we are going to inherit the lead here in Abu Dhabi. Another Grand Prix led come the end of the year. So we actually got purple through the final sector as well. So I think we are finally getting to grips with the car there. Just felt very understeery in the slow speed stuff in free practice. But I think we've been able to drive around it for the most part in this Grand Prix. It's everyone behind us into the pit. So I think they're all trying to go mediums. To the end of the Grand Prix. Verstappen is definitely doing that. As he's now 16 seconds behind us. 
We'll see if we're going to pit too far from now in this Grand Prix, and we're going to go soft to the end to try and be quick. And today's instalment of F1 cars that are where they don't belong. Kevin Magnussen, P5, currently in this Grand Prix by going just that bit longer after the safety car. If he can get to the end, he'd be on for a potentially a life-changing result for pretty much the entirety of Haas. We got yellow flags out. I think... Oh, it, no, it's Magnussen. I jinxed him as soon as I said that. Poor Kevin Magnussen falls to the wayside in the Grand Prix. We're going to completely disregard what that corner was as well because I was too busy looking at the mini-map. But Kevin Magnussen... As soon, I cannot believe that, as soon as I said that out of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, they could have really done with a safety car in that moment, because we could have pit perfectly at this late stage of the Grand Prix, but we are going to pit in the end of this lap anyway. But Magnussen joins Russell on the wayside here in the final race of the year. Verstappen sets new fast lap of the Grand Prix. Gasly goes even faster, however, in towards the final couple of corners, then ready to make hopefully our final pit stop of the year. In the My Team career mode, let's just wait and see if we can keep this one a bit tidier on the way into the pits than we did on our first run. A little bit of wheel spin still. Oh, just about getting it slowed down into the pit lane now. Oh, we're going to serve the five seconds as well. I forgot about that in this race. So at least we won't have to worry about that come the end of the Grand Prix. But it is going to give us a little bit more work to do in the final quarter of this racer. Of course, Verstappen is going to re-inherit the lead of the Grand Prix. Gasly, another new fastest lap, though. He is absolutely flying at the moment. As the team surely shouldn't be that delayed on the pit stop. Still 2.7 after you factor in the five lost. But where are we going to re-emerge in this Grand Prix then? Need to be nice and tidy on the pit exit once more. Don't want to have to be taking another trip through. So we're going to come out right next to one of the McLarens in this Grand Prix. It is going to be right next to Lando Norris there as he gives us a big old squeeze. Up the inside we go though. Not having to sit behind him for too long in this race. And we're up into eighth once more. But now we've got to really try and motor to the end of this Grand Prix. If we want to try and get... I mean, top four definitely should be possible here still. But we're going to have to push like crazy. Gasly is a man on a mission at this stage of the day. Another new fastest lap coming out from the young Frenchman. He wants to finish the year with a win, but I'm sure Max Verstappen wants to leave 2-1-2 Motorsport with a win on the board as well at the end of the year. There has probably been, arguably, I think you'd say Verstappen's worst ever season in Formula 1. Comfortably trounced by ourselves. But the luck hasn't always been on his side either, but he certainly, I don't feel like, has got the most out of that car. Ooh, we got Sainz and Charles Leclerc, obviously current Ferrari teammates, duking out. And that's going to really back up this little group of cars as we head down in towards Sector 3 here. Now all over the back of Daniel Kvyat. How early is he going to break down in towards this corner? Up the inside we go. I could tell he was going to break early. The AI always do. When they Constantina up there, and that is going to be a move not made down the back streets this time around. Up into seventh once more of the Grand Prix, and I'm looking at the mini map thinking Bottas might just be catchable by the end here, but we're going to need to absolutely fly through all this other traffic here. Next up, Alban. Let's see if we can get him. Right, come on then, Alban. Let's see what you've got. We might be able to have a look at the inside in towards the hairpin. No, just used a bit too much curb there. Cost the front end some rotation to be able to get him close enough, but we are still going to be all over the back of him. As we head out onto the back straight once more in this Grand Prix. Lap 23 or 28. Are we going to be able to get a run on Alban here? We are closing in just a little bit. He's going to try and go defensive on us. We'll have a look further to the inside. Alban almost runs into the back of Charles Leclerc there. We will get to the inside for the second part of the corner though. And Alban has to jump out of the way at the very last minute. That all got a little bit very, very congested and a bit weird in that moment there. We've got Kvyat now trying to look past the Red Bull as well in towards the next couple of corners here but that has cost us both a little bit of time Kvyat though is he going to be able to pull off the move yes he does Kvyat again up a spot as well so Alba loses two places there that's not what he needed in this Grand Prix but now we're up to sixth five to go then here from Abu Dhabi and it certainly has been an action packed Grand Prix up to this point there's now oh, Charles Leclerc what are you doing man very very slow we'll have a look at the inside oh Charles just showing me the door there Getting very, very fish daily on the exit, and unfortunately that's going to give Charles Leclerc the, all the room he needs as we head out onto the back straightaway here. We are going to close back in again, obviously with the DRS and the ERS there, as of course he's got no DRS on sites just in front of him, and despite that we might be close enough to go for something. Whoa! Back in, getting really, really fish daily there. This Kvyat now might be able to get past us again. It's all going wrong in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix at the moment then. We need to try and get back past Kvyat in towards the next corner. Up the inside we go. And we do hold on. 
And that all got very, very scary for a moment. And that might just have cost us a chance at a run at Bottas right at the end. Charles Leclerc very much to give me the treatment he gave Albon back in Formula 2, if you remember. I think, what was it, 2017 around here. But this time around, we're going to get another big old run on Charles Leclerc. But again, just not quite able to get the nose there to the inside. Can we try and get a much better run on the exit this time around? Nowhere near as much wheel spin. And hopefully now we should be able to get past Charles Leclerc in this Grand Prix with just three and a half to go. Clean around the outside there. The Ferrari got nothing. He can compete with us top end. Clean around the outside. And now we chase down Carlos Sainz once more. Bottas only three seconds up the road though. We might just get one chance at him still right at the end of this race. New fast lap of the Grand Prix as well. I'll have the bonus point if we possibly can one final time this year. But I'm far more important. He just won a podium to finish off the year. I'd love to join Max Verstappen on the podium for the final Grand Prix there. But look at that Gasly on the minimap now all over the back of our teammate as well. Are we going to see potentially Pierre Gasly take the final race of the year there and show Alpha Tower's intentions for Season 6? I don't think he gets close enough down the straight just yet. But he might just be saving all his battery. I'm going for one last move at the end of this Grand Prix. We, though, are closing in on Carlos Sainz. Surely now we can make a move work on the McLaren. Man, a lot better top-end speed than the Ferrari. That means he's got to be a little bit earlier on the brakes, and we will capitalise on that once more. Thank you very much. Now we've got two seconds to Valtteri Bottas just up the road there, as Verstappen still hanging on to the lead. Another new fastest lap of the Grand Prix, as we've got two to go. I reckon Bottas just up in front. Not only is he struggling on those hard tyres, I reckon Mercedes is about to turn the engines down because they don't want both cars out in the final race of the year there. We might just be able to get some DRS on him this time round through the chicane we go. I think we are just about going to be close enough. Don't think we'll get close enough to go for a run, however, but that could be critical. Further up the road, though, Gasly and Verstappen still juking it out, and I think Gasly did get into the lead momentarily in this Grand Prix as we might actually be close enough to go for a run down the second part of this back straightaway. Okay. We're going to be closer to Valtteri Bottas, but I don't think we're quite going to be close enough as yet. Look at that, Gasly is now up into the lead of this Grand Prix here as we're now all over the back of Valtteri Bottas with just one lap to go here from Yas Marina. Are we going to see one 2 and 2 motorsport car gain a place as the other loses one? Or is Verstappen going to be able to stay close enough to potentially go for something on the final lap of this race? Round in the final corner then to start the very last, last lap of Season 5 of the My Team Career Mode there. No fastest lap this time around as we're now firmly nestled into the dirty air of Valtteri Bottas here. But we've got to try and just hope these tyres hang on for one more lap. It looks like Verstappen has really dropped back from Pierre Gasly. So Gasly, once again by the looks of it, has done what he did last time out and just bided his time and really made it work when giving the other driver just no time to come back at him at the end of this Grand Prix there, but a big lockup for us. As we head through the hairpin there, are we still going to be able to get a run on Valtteri Bottas down the back straightaway? We're not going to be close enough down the first part here, and look at that Gasly on the minimap. Very, very much clear now of Max Verstappen there, so a heartbreak for our teammate, who is not going to win the final race of the year there. We're closing in on Valtteri Bottas again, though. Might have to be a bit of a send in towards the next corner here as we try and put the power down, but Bottas still a good four tenths up the road here. As we head up the back straightaway, but he's got no more energy. Look at that, Bottas really struggling. Can we have a look up the inside? We're going to get the nose there. It is going to be side by side into the final sector of the season there. And look at that, we do pull off the move on at Valtteri Bottas here. And I was not expecting to be in podium contention for the final race of the year there. But we pulled off the move in towards the final couple of corners there. We are going to finish the season with another bang. Pierre Gasly comes through for his third race victory in Formula 1 there. Two in a row. Alpha Tauri Season 6. They are going to be right there. Verstappen comes through for P2 as the fireworks all around the Asperina circuit. We're going to come through from 20th on the grid for P3. Season 5, done and dusted. Good job. You did really well. Super driving. Roller coaster season, then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? 
It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. As we await the winners to take their positions on the podium, one thing is clear. Alpha Tori have really shown their prowess on the track. This is a team that isn't afraid to take risks, whether that's on the circuit or in the new talent they hire. Today, those risks certainly paid off. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Mr Monaco. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today, as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Well, there we are then, the end of Season 5 of the My Team Career Mode, and 20th to 3rd. We'll take that rather happily indeed when all is said and done there. Pierre Gasly comes through to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix there, and again, like I said, Alpha Tauri looking very, very threatening, ready for Season 6. I'll be honest, I thought you guys were going to vote Pierre Gasly as our teammate ready for next year, but apparently not. You guys want to see Charles Leclerc in the car alongside us there. Of course, we've already had Hamilton. We've already now had Max Verstappen. We've already had George Russell. And, of course, the legendary Jordan King at the start of this series. But, yeah, Charles Leclerc will be our last teammate of the championship then. Valtteri Bottas comes through for P4 ahead of Carlos Sainz. There, a brilliant job done by him and McLaren in P5 there, giving them 10 critical points in the championship there ahead of Kvyat. Albon, 7th, Charles Leclerc, 8th, Lando Norris and Lance Straw around at your top 10. There, a quiet day from Ocon. Down in 11th, just ahead of Raikkonen, Guan Yu Zhou, and Sergio Perez there. But you can see Nicholas Satifi, 15th, Giovinazzi, 16th, Hamilton, 17th place behind the Williams there. A heartbreaking day uh, for him ahead of King, Nick De Vries, Matsushita, Ma and then, of course, Magnussen and Russell, the only two drivers not to make it to the end of the Grand Prix. Does mean championship-wise, Pierre Gasly does it. He comes runner-up for Alpha Tauri. They're highly unlikely uh, looking at it. At the halfway stage of the year there. But Gasly has been in fine form in the second half of the World Championship there. To finish 134 behind us when all is said and done there. Russell down to P3. I'm sure he's gutted uh, with that there. Just ahead of our teammate Verstappen. There are 199 points uh, behind ourselves. Uh, Valtteri Bottas comes through for P5 there. Couldn't quite get the jump on our teammate there with Danny, uh, Danny Kvyat. Yeah, a long way off in sixth place there. Less than half the points of his teammate. Ocon in 7th, a good result done by him. Had a stroll and Albon there, tied in 8th place with 101 apiece there. Charles Leclerc 9th on 75, ahead of Carlos Seitzer, who does get the jump on Perez into 11th and 12th place there, ahead of Lando Norris and Lewis Hamilton there. Guan Yu Zhou in his first Formula 1 season, down in P15, ahead of Raikkonen in what might be his last Formula 1 season there. And of course you got Latifi with that one point all the way back from Melbourne. He got that one point, and it has proved critical come the end of the season. They're finishing ahead of Jordan King, Magnussen, Matsushita, Giovinazzi, and Nick DeFries last at the end of the season there. Constructors-wise, the only movers, McLaren did get the jump on Renault right at the end of the year there. So those 10 points, very, very critical for McLaren there to finish best of the Renault power unit cars when all is said and done. Mercedes P2 behind ourselves, Alpha Tauri, and you can see a long drop back to Red Bull in P4 there ahead of Racing Point. Ferrari, 8th place at the end of the year there, the worst of the midfield runners. I mean, you consider how good Charles Leclerc was all year long. Very, very disappointing, I'm sure, for Ferrari there. But they do still edge out Williams and Alfa Romeo, as well as Haas, obviously. One point to Alfa and Haas is zero as well. So Williams' best result, I think, throughout the entirety of of this series as well there but thank you all so much for watching this video like i said we will be back later on today uh, with the end of season review as well a massive thank you for all the continued support on this series as well as the channel in general we're almost at 15,000 subscribers as well i cannot thank you guys enough but like i said we will have a short and final season with charles leclerc as our teammate you guys do not want to miss it get yourself subscribed if you're new around here and we will be back very very soon with the start of season six of the My Team Career Mode. The final one. We've got Alpha Tower. We've got Mercedes right there. Maybe we've got some surprises as well from other teams. It's going to be a banger. I'll see you guys back in Australia.
A big thank you to our channel members for making these videos possible. You can be featured in these end clips as well as granted access to some other exclusive perks for just £1 a month by clicking the join button below.